Do you want to be able to build something like this? Look at this thing, man. Come on, that's pretty cool, bro. Look at this thing. Open up this front door. Sheesh. That's pretty cool, man. Okay, that's gonna crash. Well, if you want to build something like that, uh, you're gonna have to start small. So, uh, today we are gonna be building something more like this. It's similar, but it's not the same. Um, it's a really simple flyer. It has some suspension glitches in the back here. Um, and it's just one button to go up and down and WASD for the turns and controls. So in the last video, you guys were saying that uh, even though you did exactly what I did in the simple plane video, um, it just wasn't working out. Um, and then some of you said, thank you so much, it worked, blah, 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 blah. So awesome. I'm very glad that it worked for some of you. Um, but you know, we gotta, we gotta make it easy for everyone. So, um, we don't want to complicate it. We don't want a bunch of buttons. We just want WASD controls, um, something like this as well. Um, suspension glitches are your best friend in the beginning of this game. Um, this game is really, really hard. So, um, yeah, yeah, let's, I'll, I'll just start explaining it to you. So first, what you will need, there we go. Um, you need to know how to make a suspension glitch. So, um, I spawn them in, I just made these, um, but basically it's a suspension um, and an L shape connected, and then there's a bearing in between here with a, uh, another one on top. You have to weld these together, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so first I got some plastic, a suspension, and a bearing, and then you're going to need a welding tool as well. So you want to put two like this, uh, you want to put a suspension here, a bearing there, you want to go up. And then you want to make sure to put this on top of here. Let me try and get up on top here. There we go. Oh, okay. I guess not. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. So now we weld this and then that usually doesn't work, but okay, so then we take it off and anything that tries to hit this thing sideways, it just doesn't. So, um, go on your lift and then save it, um, save it under like whatever stay upright glitch or whatever you guys want. Um, so yeah, you want to get about two to four of these. So you either want one in the front, one in the back, or two in the front, two in the back or whatever. Um, the only downside of this is that your, your plane or whatever you're building won't tilt. Um, it will just stay in that fixed position. Okay, so now that you got those suspension glitches, we're gonna be working on the turning for the suspension glitches. Um, so let's make sure this is somewhat um, symmetrical. There we go, okay. And um, what I like to do is center off the seat um, to everything else. So that looks pretty centered to me. Um, and because the lift is right under it, oh, it's not right under it, okay, sweet. So. Um, what I like to do is go right here and go back more, I guess. Um, so now that we're under the seat, you want to put a suspension or sorry, a bearing right there. This is where a lot of people get mixed up. So what I'm going to do is, um, use these little curled ones. Um, let's do that. And then a straight pipe. So. Um, you want it to be on, on the, I can't for why, why am I forgetting this word on that thing? I don't know why I can't remember. Um, and then you want the suspension to be on that little curved piece. There we go. Bearing and then the curved piece and then the suspension. And then you can do a block or you can do this or, um, but I use blocks all the time, even for like that little curved piece. It doesn't have to be like that. Um, but that was a little too long. So once that's like that, we can connect that to the seat. And then there you go. That's uh, the left and right turning. You might need to flip it by right clicking it. But other than that, there we go. Left and right. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that, we can go like this and start adding the thrusters. So um, if you want it to fly like a plane, then you're going to need more four, or you're going to need at least one. Um, thruster going forward like this um, but you want it to be as balanced as possible before you add the suspension glitches um, just so that you have um, you, over time um, the suspension glitches eventually 
don't they don't give out but they kind of have a little bit of give to them so um, it will start tilting over time but of course you're not really gonna be flying it for super super long it's just really to get to the other side of the map so now that we have that um, let's go ahead and raise this up like that um, this is not gonna be pretty you guys I know I say that in every simple flyers video but it's really not gonna look good um, it's just to get the job done um, so there we go just like that and I think we're gonna need just one in the front I'm assuming um, let's go ahead and do that though just like this oh, I guess we could have embedded it inside of the uh, the body here so the thruster's not right in our face the whole time but whatever that's fine okay so um, I would always start on one for all of these um, and then we'll do like that and then you want to connect them all to the seat if you just want it to where you click W it just all goes so um, let's test it really quick so even the forward one so let's take off that um, it won't be strong enough most likely yeah okay so let's turn this up turn this up and nope let's go here turn that up um, the back might be a little bit heavier or a little bit stronger sorry than the front so we'll do that one one higher again one higher okay that's a little too fast so it's all just playing with um, like the thrusters really it's just trying to get it to work at its possible best and be as most balanced as possible so um let's just do two in front as well um let's just make it all very symmetrical there we go and sadly um i'm not going to be spending a lot of time on it to make it look that good but uh yeah We'll, we'll see how it turns out um, but in the thumbnail is what you will see so here we go okay so as you guys can see it's tilting a little bit forward but that's okay um, you can always add another thruster um, if these two that are turned up so like for instance let's turn these up now when we start going it's probably gonna yeah okay so now it goes backwards so clearly two is too much but then if you only turn up like one of them see how this one's higher then it will start tilting one way it's it's really simple it makes a lot of sense but um, um let's turn this one back down and then let's take off some of this to reduce some of the weight see now that's a little bit too much so um it's just balancing literally the whole time everything's about balancing so um this might be still too much in the back yes if we add just one thruster right about there let's turn it up one okay that's still very uh tilting forward which is odd okay now here we go okay so now we have the turning and then it's flying very quick turning jeez very very fast okay so let's go ahead and add those suspension glitches and you guys will see how crazy um i don't know why it's flying so weird now um you guys will see how crazy this thing uh just starts flying straight for no reason we are back and we want our welding tool just uh like this and you want to weld it either it doesn't matter just don't weld this part on there um, so um, you want them as far in front as you can get them or as far in back as you can get them so let's do that do that and flip. Flip. okay cool so now look at this thing go look at this we it's perfect it's perfect so um you can always tune the thrusters to be down more if you don't want to just be constantly clicking um but yeah and then let's let's turn up that thruster on the back 
so that we can go a little bit faster. We're going a little bit slow here. All the way up. Okay. Look at this thing. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so see how we're kind of tilting backwards a little bit? So that might happen for your guys' um, like flyers or whatever you want to call it. Um, let's just delete that. Let's just see how it works. Okay, so we didn't actually need that front thruster anyways. Um, but you guys, you can just clean it up. You can make it look a lot cooler. Um, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll come back to you guys. But uh, the first person probably looks garbage because uh, all that stuff in front. But you guys can figure it out. It's really not that hard. If once you get the suspension glitches down and you get this down, then you're good. Um, if you want it to be more complicated, there's definitely a way to make it more complicated. And um, yeah, you can have it like tilt forward and tilt backwards, and tilt left and right and barrel rolls and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to make this thing look really nice and then I will come back to you guys. All right, you guys, we are back. And as you guys can see, I am all done. It looks completely different than what it did. Um, yeah, man, I think this thing looks so cool. Um, I didn't think that it would turn out like this. But anyways, let's take this thing for a fly. As you guys can see, it goes up super fast. Um, but again, I could just add more weight to it um, and turn down the thrusters if I want, but I really like the way how it goes up, you know, when you're in like the trees and you're in things like that, it's just like really, really hard to get through them. Um, if you only go straight and kind of going up, um, but yeah, man, I mean, this thing's pretty good. The turning's really good on it. I mean, um, let's turn off strict follow camera so we don't all get dizzy here, but I mean, look at the spin on this thing. This is nuts. So, um, again, a simple flyer, super easy. Um, suspension glitches and then suspension glitch turning that is the way to do it um, and then make sure your vehicle is just somewhat balanced um, and yeah you guys will be totally fine so if you guys have any other questions or would like to see anything else um, I know I've seen a lot of comments on other things but I just feel bad for the people who didn't understand it or uh, couldn't find a suspension glitch on the workshop that wasn't a mod or anything like that. So um, all this is vanilla. Um, I always do vanilla. I don't do any mods. So if you guys enjoy vanilla content, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I hate saying go ahead and subscribe because I feel like uh, it's like, a, you know, throwing in a little ad there. But I don't have ads, so you guys are pretty lucky. Uh, anyways, come on back to this channel uh, if you want to see more simple flyers or anything specific. Again, thank you so much for 690, 90, 90 subscribers? I think I think it's going up. So um, a lot of the Scrap Mechanic videos have been going up like crazy in views and I just thank you guys so much. So thank you so much for subscribing and uh, commenting down below. I really enjoy it. Um, get ready for some more videos soon on Scrap Mechanic.